Oh, sweetness. Yeah, we're definitely, yeah, we're on the make comeback now. Okay, so that's good. No. We want to here, and we want to refit. Refit. You want to armor. Uh, KV-1, sweet. No elites yet. KV-1, yeah, baby. And then we're going to retire these guys. And we're going to refit those guys. I'm going to refit these guys. <laughs> yeah, we're getting ready to make a... Uh, a power come back here. Rifle infantry. Rifle infantry. All this stuff is crap. Okay, yeah, that's what the, I'm starting to rotate that stuff back. So, regular and elite. Nope. Infantry elite, nope. Command elite, nope. Support elite, nope. Damn. No 120 millimeter more is yet. Let's, maybe this guy can upgrade. No. Nah, depleted. Damn. Alright, so. We'll just get in the tank. Armor. All right, so we're doing a little bit better. We got three T-34s and one KV-1. All right, folks, it looks like we've got what we're going to be looking for here. So we've got, um, we've just started back up after the uh, problems we were having with Moscow. And we look like we've got some forces we can push out. So we've got a T-34 command. Um, two light machine gun infantry units, two light infantry units, just rifle infantry units, uh, KV-1, uh, two, two, two uh, T-34s, and a uh, large anti-aircraft gun. These guys we found out did pretty well, so um, I'm happy with that. And until they start getting the Panzer IVs in, we should have a pretty good distinct advantage. And we've got plenty of requisition points down here. So let's go ahead and let's start it off and see where we are. Hopefully we don't have to push out of Moscow. Hopefully we're only on the outskirts. Sweet. All right, this is going to be good, guys. Looks like we got some... All right, we've been here. All right. All right I see what they're looking for. Let's bring him down on this side of the building. So now we've got over here all this and all up in here we can we can get. So we've got that whole the whole southern half of the board contained with that AT gun. Now they're fragile, but uh, we have some possibilities here. All right, here's this K34 or K1. We t whoops, we took a um, a T34 up over, running around over here last time we got zapped. So we're going to be a little bit more conservative. We'll take two of them. So this is presumably the Russian counterattack after Moscow. Or that's certainly how we're looking at it because we've got a ton of resupply points. So even if we start taking some losses with uh, tanks, we should be able to replenish them. And I don't think the Russians are going to have, or the, I don't think the Germans are going to have the type of capabilities to meet us. Okay. Here's two more T-34s. We're going to hit over here, and we're going to hit through this tree line and break out in this open field. Time to do a little bit of uh, combat by maneuver. Because I'm just, I'm not prepared for us to sit back and, and be the red-headed stepchild. We are no, we're no Cinderella. It's time for us to go ahead and uh, advance on out. All right, here we go. Yep, I'm sure it is.
got our infantry up here in this line. Now we have a little bit more up here, but we're going to tell you what, let's catch it right here. And let's catch, catch this one right here for our northern flank, because that's pretty important. I'm going to start pushing through. See how we have that half track that we're having to negotiate around? That's the old 251 uh, AT that we took out earlier in the game. As you see, the terrain is persistent. There may be some things where you where some of them you lose, but uh, after a while. Should be too too early for any of the um, hardcore German vehicles. And our quality shall start increasing, especially when we start getting guards units. We should be in pretty good shape when we start getting... That's, that's going to be a while down. How many people are getting where they're supposed to be? All right. Okay, these guys look pretty safe. Let's move up here. We're going on the offense, by the way, y'all. We're not standing back anymore. We have a possibility of somebody popping up over this top here, so we're going to keep... There's one of our old tanks. Looks like old KV-1. There's old blown out Mark III. There's another KV-1. There's another Mark III. Oh, yeah, there's some over here. Nope, oh, bingo. There's somebody. What's this? Anti-tank gun. That's not good. That's a perfect target for a mortar. That's that 50 millimeter AT gun. Bingo. Alright, so we got two on one. He's hitting our... I think he's shooting at our infantry. Well, at least we're getting uh, some. Uh, there we go. Oh, missed. I didn't check to see which ones of these. Oh, there was somebody who appeared up here. I went up. Flap, I got him. Disabled their gun. They're abandoning. That was good. We'll turn our mortar off and reserve our ammunition. There you go. Good job, boys and girls. Get in the trenches. We're going to push. Now, about this time is the German lack of winterized equipment, and that's going to start telling here pretty soon. Usually they have some guys that sneak around up over here. If you remember, this is where the flam tank got us, and this is the one it got right here, I believe. Our KV-1 that it took out with a flame. Flammenwerfer. Uh-oh, something shooting at us. Oh, there's 37 mm on. It wouldn't be bad to catch, catch that fifth. Whoa! No, that's didn't knock that one. There, there we go. There he is. We got him now. That that 37 millimeter gun's gonna have, gonna have troubles with our armor, but uh, we should be in pretty good shape with him. We got that 76. Now it's kind of um, it's not exactly uh, uh whoop, there that was a good shot. Not exactly a, uh, a hyper -vos velocity 75. It's one of the earlier ones. And if I remember correctly, one of the gun designers ended up going back off to uh, Siberia. Right, we'll also watch their strikes on them here for a minute. So engaging on the right with a T-34. This is our northern flank T-34. Yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, yeah, we had another miss over here. Yeah, picked up a couple more. If you see them on the right-hand side of the screen, you see some of these uh, infinite sweetness. Beautiful. All right, that's one good uh, Mark three down. They're going to start running out of those. We're going to start seeing the uh, Strungleschutz and um, Mark IV show up pretty soon, if I had to guess. Those are getting towards the end of their uh, lifespan. All right, we're going to keep pushing it because we're having luck, so... Das Blut. Yeah, those guys are pretty roughed up. With a little bit of luck, maybe we get them to surrender or run off. <laughs> Infantry's moving forward. Let's move forward this T-34. We'll take this ridge here. <laughs> There's another one down. Yeah, we're taking them down slowly but surely. This squad should be breaking here in a minute. Let's just go ahead and shoot at him. I'll go ahead and shoot at him. I don't want to get too close to infantry in the woods. Whoop, took that one out. Alright, our KV-1's not having any luck finding. We're out tank hunting here. There's a chance to get some down here. Maybe, i tell you what. Let's take this T-34 and run this T-34 down here. Just, just to check. Because that's a legitimate means for them to attack this, this um, Conav's house down here in the south. And then we'll join back up again. I don't think these guys are much of a threat again. We'll press the other side. Well, we got one more. And it looks like they're out. Alright, well, we're still in good shape. So let's break that ridge there. Well. The Germans are having some issues. They should still have... Uh, uh, t uh, a um, uh, half track 251 and a 250. I think those are still around. Whoops. There you go. See, look, they've surrendered. First surrender. Going back to our lines. Off to the gulag you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's somebody up here. Oh, that's their commander. What's this? Oh, sweet. We found him. That's a 251. I think. I'll zoom in and find out. Bye, ah, got him. That was a 250, yeah. Bip, got him. Oh. Wiped out the crew. All right. That was good. All right. Well, boys and girls, let's keep charging. Let's keep advancing forward and see what we got. Wait a minute. What are these guys doing back here? We have to put an end to that real quick. Let's break the crest of that hill so we can hit on either side. The guys are all out there in the lonesome. Whoops. The Germans going to be requesting a truce here in a minute. But I'm inclined for us to push farther farther west here. Where are our tankers going south? There it is. Let's see if we get anything when we cover this rise here. Let's see if we see anything. No. Yep, it is awesome with us. All right, we're gonna hit this rise right here too. We're starting to close in. We might, we might run into their, uh, their retreating personnel here in a minute. 
Yeah, it looks like our infantry squad here. Their full squad? Oh yeah, our LMG squad, good. With that LMG, they'll be able to throw down some firepower and they'll take out those guys behind the lines. We don't have to worry about them. So that means we can advance oh, forward right. here. Come, suck. Let's come back. Ah! Yeah, good job, guys. All right. We're going to go on this side of the of the river here. And this guy, we're going to come up from around the rear. Over here. And we're going to snag these last two points. This is a little bit of a top uh, squad level game. Kind of like a squad leader. If you remember it from back in the old days. It has very much that kind of flavor. Except it's computerized, which is good, you know. All right, well, that was a good sign. He's reached his destination point. Just push it up here. <coughs> Excuse me. KV runs having a little bit of pathfinding issues over here in the trees. Drives about as well as my girlfriend. Oh wow, that was a fast ambush attack on that. Mark 3H, well we got him pretty quick. That's the good thing about the T-34s, is that if you get a good shot off, you run a high probability of... See, these guys are going to surrender. They surrendered. No, they didn't. Ooh, got both of them. One. A bit of shrapnel. They didn't surrender. Alright, let's hit this ridge and carry on with our plan. We're doing pretty much what we... Whoop, there's another one right there. Oh, forget that. Alright, well you're still up, still down for fighting. Oh, there he goes. He gave up. Smart move, Professor. I anticipate finding their mortar here pretty soon. All right, so we're up on here. I'll take that if it'll let us across. That might be blocked there. That's a possibility. We'll see if it'll let across the water. If it will, then we're okay. Yep, we got it. All right, that's good. Yeah, we're getting ready to hit the open plains here. We're gonna, we're gonna pretty much steamroll the Germans. Yeah, there he is. Very good. All right. We need that, boys and girls. We need that. All right. Man, we only lost one person. Man. They lost, uh, oh, two tanks, one armored vehicle, and one gun. So the half track, the 250, the 250 half track, and a gun and two armored pieces. Sweet. Soldiers, six, nine, and ten. Leaders, yeah, we took out the leaders too. That's good. Oh, captured. Captured leaders. Oh, two, two, four leaders and two prisoners. I guess those are from individual vehicles and such. But okay, very good. What? Two ve armored vehicles captured. We'll see about that. I hope. I'm hoping so. We will impress them into our group. All right, so we got ups, ups, and ups, and rank is plus. That's what we're looking for. We need a promotion to open an extra slot. So let's go ahead and take a look at the soldiers and see what they did. We did pretty well on this one. All right, everybody seems on the surface. Well, we got lost a couple people down here, but not too many. Everybody seems to be in pretty good shape. Morale going up, experience going up. We might have to leave the 82mm uh, because they're starting to get tired. And... Um, This is what all they've been involved in. Kind of cool. Just more medals as such. But the medals are always fun to look at. It kind of brings it home. Kills. We got our tank. Got four. That's pretty good. Oh, plus five bravery. That's good. MG infantry is 27 cowardice. I guess that's what they broke. So, off in a prison labor camp in the west. Fine for them. 
Light infantry, those guys did well, cowardice. I guess they killed two and then ran away. Oh, now I figure out one, but he got two total. So this is his second combat where he's taking somebody down, so that's good. He'll be a good guy. Okay. T-34 tank, got some infantry kills. Tanks, look at that. KV-1 got somebody. I don't think our, yeah, I think I did. No, no, not this time around. It did in the past. But they're still around. And a mortar. No, nobody this time around. That's fine. Metals. Uh-oh, patriotic first class. For our commander there. Nikki Pip, imagine that. Um, picked up some more. Down here, picked up some more patriarch second class. That's good. These guys are new. So, Tushkin, the leader, picked one up. This is for the whole, for the whole team. So he picked one up. I guess it helps to be the boss. They tend, tend to treat you well. All right, let's go on to the next one. Six hundred and seventy-nine points. That's fantastic. We might start getting rid of some of these other idiots up here. Nope. No refit. We'll have to see about that. KV-1 refit. Nope. T-34 refit. Nope. T-34 refit. Nope. AA. Nope. No refit. Mortar. Oh, he yeah, here we go. Okay, here's our 120. Good. Okay, we finally got that. And um, those guys are three. Let me see what we got for armor. See if we got any like good tanks. No, armor conscript crap. Nothing. Everything's depleted. So these three throws, T34 and the KV1 that we got. That's what we're going to be stuck with for now. But I think we have a good balance. We got uh, four tanks, four infantry, and two support. So that's right, and we got a ton of uh, requisition points down here. All right, so we're pushing out. This may not last long. We'll see how long this combat lasts here. All right, there's our 85 gun. Oh, ooh, this might not be good. Everything is so in the open. That's old BT-5 or BT-7 that we lost earlier. Infantry tactics. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to run this... Up on top of the hill. If we got a line of sight, we do. If we don't, if we got trees issues with the trees, we'll come up behind them. We're trying to, if you recall, we remember at one point we had a T45 anti tank or a 45 millimeter anti tank gun. I think it was either in this one or this one up here. This has been a couple games ago. But uh, so we're pushing them back and trying to retake these bunkers and stuff. But we've got this, we've got some guns back there that hopefully we'll have a little bit of. Uh, Line of sight and stuff. Okay, we're pretty tank heavy down here in the south. Let's uh, let's keep it that way. We're gonna bring an armored fist in here. I like armored fists. Infantry, infantry, infantry. Our tank up north. Our mortar. Run the offense. We'll put him here, relatively close. And if he has to move forward, we'll let him move forward. All right, let's give it a try. That means the Einza Motor is Einzaford, and that means they're they're having some issues with weather vehicles. But we knew that was going to happen. That means that they can't move, so they're going to be stationary. So what that means is, if we see an immobilized vehicle, and this is a giant rolling bombardment here. You just, you got to deal with it. Yeah. 
the Germans obviously were not as equipped as the Russians were for the cold weather. There's stuff going on. Oh man. That wiped out an entire squad. Man, that hurt. They might not be doing anything. Yeah, we're taking this artillery. Jesus, repeat, guys. Come on now. Looks like pre registered art. Oh, bingo. Who's that? In the rear. So, where's our bunker buster? Oh, we lost our KV2, didn't we? There's one. There you go. Good guys. Good job. See up north? Bam. Got there just in time. We're not going to be too much advancing here right off the bat. Just with all this registered artillery doing us a number. Sounds like the Germans are having as much trouble as, uh, as we are, hearing about what they're saying. Whoop, there's some guys right there. Come on, guys. There you go. It's a nickel. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna move out and get away from this uh, barrage. Oh, wait a minute, we can't do that. That's a that's a minefield. KV one's destroyed somehow. I guess a piece of artillery got it. We're gonna come down here. And we're gonna take this. We're gonna take this breach here. And it could have been artillery. Most likely, is what got us. Which, that sucks, but, you know, hey. You gotta take losses to kill a lot of, uh, lot, or make the enemy have losses. That's just the way it is. Just gonna over this hill a little bit, crest it. Got one guy right there. We'll take him out. Oh, we can't even see him, damn. Over on that guy's position. Man, they got Germans coming out of the woodworks down here. Alright. I'm going to see if we can hem down this trench line here. We are keeping an infantry unit back here for reserve. More infantry. Where's all their armor? They they might just be hurting for uh, points. That's a possibility. If they're you know throwing their uh, units in there willy nilly, they may be having some severe supply shortage problems. Yeah, you can't hold ground without the infantry. So there you go. There's a the tank back there. That Mark III is just sitting back here. Ooh, yeah, I missed. <laughs> no, that guy was on the left over there, so we're going to go across. We're going to see if we can breach across there. Whoop.
No? Okay, we'll come down here, we'll capture the bridge, and then we'll go across and follow the, the road. We're not having too much resistance here. Alright, aiming. Sounded like we, yeah, sounded like we had a uh, armor deflection. We're still facing turret on front and um, side on flank, or um, uh, hull on flank. So we're going to break that trench. What? Hmm. Southern Breach is ours. the trenches that's awesome and they're still sniping oh good shot all right we're going to try to break this uh go through the northern breach there and the southern breach here looks like we're still trying to Let's try not to get shot, like, right at the breach, because if we do, then that's bad. Move fast. Go. Alright, we've taken Northern Breach. We're going to move on to Bukharin's house. Zip, he just got shot. That was good timing. He just got shot. That's good. I'm not seeing any effective defense here, guys. So we're going to move down here. All right, we got the southern breach. We're going to start pushing on to get their uh, ancillary targets. Okay, he's back here. Let's go here. I don't know what that vehicle is. If that's a half tracker, one of ours. I'm just going to rust it out. All right, well, I took the Whoa, whoa. There's that tank. Ah, shit, there it is. Let's get a wider... Ah, that's it. That's all she wrote. All right, very good. One captured tank. Mm -hmm. That is what it is. That's cool. All right, boys and girls, well, that'll do it for this episode. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be back real soon with the next episode. See you, folks. Bye.